There are several agroforestry practices that can be successfully applied to ulu cultivation in Hawaii. In this video, we will be discussing the functional benefits of two of these practices, alley cropping and windbreaks. Alley cropping refers to the planting of agronomic, horticultural, or forage crops in alleys between rows of trees. Crop rows alternate with tree, shrub, or non-woody vegetation rows that provide fertility, shade, mulch, weed control, economic benefits, or serve as weed barriers. Cacao is one example of a local crop that can be well incorporated through alley cropping into ulu production systems because it thrives in the shade that mature ulu trees provide. Tom Menezes of Hawaiian Crown spaces his ulu trees at 25 foot intervals within rows and interplants cacao in 90 foot alleys between the rows of ulu. Developing the alley crop over the years, because I use mowers, uh, equipment, uh, sit down mowers and some larger ones, I knew that the spacing needed to be big enough so I can drive the mower down the road and still have the trees uh, have enough room. So it's about 12 feet between the rows and between the trees are about seven feet depending on the varieties. Now that I know that cacao is a viable product, I can expand it to the four rows. And I th think the four rows is good because with the ulu on the side, it, it's about the right spacing to give enough wind protection and shade. Windbreaks are single or multiple rows of trees or shrubs established around a farm in order to reduce wind shear and protect sensitive crops or provide shelter for animals. Windbreaks can also provide pest barriers and are not always planted with food production as the main purpose. In addition to using cacao alley cropping in his ulu orchard, Tom also interplanted ulu with coconut using the niu as a windbreak to protect the ulu trees while they are young and, over time, provide a multi-story production system as both crops grow and mature. I use coconut as a windbreak, but also because I have a market for the coconuts, so I want to use the coconuts in my chocolate factory. In this latest farm design, I decided to do edible landscaping so whatever is planted is something that I could use either as a food or as a, as a product. It's serving as a windbreak, but also an edible windbreak. Some farmers use inner rows to let fast-growing grasses, like guinea grass, grow as windbreaks to protect young ulu trees. This allows for easy removal once the ulu trees mature and will ultimately maximize the acreage that can be planted with ulu rather than sacrificing space to more permanent windbreaks. It also decreases time and resources spent on weed management. Learn more and find tips for implementing or managing alley cropping and windbreak systems in our agroforestry guide online. Hawaii Ulu Cooperative, farmer owned, Ina Grown.